And you can you can see what what you're recording there. Is the little counter running up in the mm -hmm. left? Top? Okay, groovy. Sweet. Watch that Okay, now somebody sing for me. Sure. You can put the music back Get on. Get on it, Dr. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> You singing, what's that song from the uh, dating game? Showing my age. How old are you? 43. How old am I? Let me hmm. check your chart. Guess. No, no chart checking. Just guess. I'm always going to say 27. Always? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not going to ask you because then you're going to make me older. Okay, video lady, how old am I? 28. 27's always a, the perfect age. 37. That's funny, I'm 27. I haven't had any work done. <laughs> what do you can't consider this? Come on now. You know what? Now you can it's tell so people weird. you had plastic surgery. Yeah. All my friends are like, why are you having it removed? And I'm like, because I don't like it. They're like, yeah, but... But they had to stare like, at us shut the fuck up. every time that they, you know, like open I their see, eyes I see and see this. it. And you know what, Doc? Sometimes it itches, or it'll itch around it, and you can't really scratch that thing so good. We have your eyes closed for a second there. I just don't want to squirt, squirt me in, in the eye with my own blood. I don't want a corneal abrasion. Oh, no, that's mm -hmm. no good either. Nothing? Oh. I, I like being able to see where I'm going. There's still gloves in the second drawer. Yeah. There's uh, what? There's some sterile gloves in the second drawer. I was just gonna. Has there ever been a case study of somebody that had a, I guess, what this is a local anesthetic that suddenly wake up in a freaking out nightmare that has the memory of the, of actually what was going on? Like it wasn't completely blocked out from their memory? From local, yes. I mean, you don't lose your... This from is local. General. I'm saying like Partner general. two weeks yes. later, you're sound asleep and you have this weird dream about this, about the recurrence of whatever the procedure was. Sure. But you feel it. Because this is being felt somewhere. It's just being I mean, recorded told not in your to brain? Felt. Yeah, like in the hypothalamus or something. You're recording no. this? Yes, you want me to record mm -hmm. it? Actually, it blocks the sodium channels. The, uh, so there actually is no impulse going to the brain. There's really no feeling, like... Right. Well, I mean, nerve impulses travel down the nerve, but mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. are basically chemical reactions going on, sodium channels opening up, mm -hmm. and depolarizing as a wave down the nerve. And mm -hmm. if you block the fact that there's ever a depolarization, there's no impulse yeah. going to the brain. So no, you don't record this anywhere. What was that for ladder? Is that blood in my eye? No. Are you going to post this on YouTube? Oh my god, I didn't even think about <laughs> that. Sign a release. I didn't even think about that. Get the paperwork ready. Kids do that a lot. You got to oh. search Emily. Do what? Search Emily? Oh no, I was telling my oh. co-worker to search my daughter. Have you ever seen the uh, website smywshowmeyourwound.com? Uh -uh. So gross. People, usually a bunch of dumbass kids that I've seen SMYT, jack themselves up. But no. <laughs> What's SMYT? Don't ask. <laughs> Show me your <laughs> DTs. D ah! <laughs> you get tired of looking. It's called www.createbeauty.com. <laughs> right. Do they get tired of looking at them? Yeah. I don't. I'm gay and I get tired of them. Mm -hmm. well, I don't get tired of them, but you know, I don't, like if I see them in the office, I don't remember them. Mm. Uh, you have the scissors. Oh, yeah. I don't remember them like within... Do you want me, if you want me no, to, fine. you leave them on the table. What table? Well, the blue. You mean her chest? This mm -hmm. table, table. Here. This chest, this chest of table. Okay, a few more and then we're done. 
I like boobs. I think boobs are pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, some of them are pretty. No, there's some Women pretty in high. general are just prettier to look at than men. Oh, yeah. Hell, yes. Yeah. You're preaching that. to the choir now, sister. I'll you, give you that. You have to tell them what I told you about my ex-girlfriend. Uh, no, you got to tell them. Do you, you want to hear this? No. She had a boob job, and this is weird. I've never heard anything They were like way that. too big for her, I'm telling you. I don't know why she Did went she along with this. Of no, she thought it was great, but it, they were just, she was a little teeny weeny petite girl and she went to like a mom boob A to like D, big D's. Was three, she a three, mom? Three, three kids, 350 in one and <laughs> 360 or 370 or in the other, but that's a lot. That's, that's average. That's so safe. Okay, but she was like I said, like 5'2", she weighed like maybe 100 pounds. She was a little big thing. Rooms are for Dr. And uh, anyways. Two months after she had her surgery, oh, she has also had a tummy tuck. Two months after her surgery, <clears throat> this is kind of fucked up. I just can't believe I'm telling you this. We were horsing around and, um, uh, you know, da da da, and then like kind of lay down, took a little nap after whatever, and she woke up and stood up. She had 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 a a, a robe on, you know, that was like um, uh, not you know that could just like fasten in the front. Well, she stood up, and her robe was open, and she looked down, and she's like, oh, my God, Jen, it busted, it busted. And she was looking, like, here, and I was like, no, baby, it's over there. It had slid across her chest, and both implants were in On one, one side. In one, what do you call a boob? One single boob. It's like, an uniboob. Yeah. <laughs> it was in her boob sack, and this one was empty. It was like a balloon that had been all that deflated deflated and this one was like about to burst it was the most ridiculous thing I ever saw in my life now she's a pediatric oncology nurse in medical city she, city she still works up there she said Jen I cannot go into the emergency room like this I cannot do, you're gonna have to fix this I was like what me fix, fix it. it she's like yes you have to push it back over and I was like what I was like okay and I turned into like superwoman boob fixer and laid her on the bed and manipulated to where I could you could you know feel the tube implants or whatever and then I just slid it across but the wrong one went you know because one was bigger than the other and the wrong one went over and you could tell immediately that she looked kind of a lopsided or so whatever. So her implants must have been on top not under the muscle. They were under the muscle. Well somebody did something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, the, all this, everything that all the muscle here on her sternum was just. It, it was like it was somebody had put a. Um, yes. Um, okay. What are the the Sawyer and what's his partner? And Sawyer and. Uh, and then the short guy. Yeah, the, the, the short of the G. Um, I can't remember his name. He has major short man syndrome. He's the <laughs> one that did it. Um. I know you're talking about. So yeah, I slid the other one back over and she called th th her doctor and it was like, so it was Thursday, Thanksgiving. He said, there's really nothing I can do till I get in Monday, you can go, but all they're really going to do is wrap it up, you know, just wrap it up. And So by the time she went in, Sunday night, I was I was looking, I was like, that one is like looking smaller and smaller. Well, when they she went in and had them, they, they take them both out, I guess, after something like that. One of them did have a leak, so it was kind of like a blessing in disguise that it happened. And so they ended up replacing them both. He sutured her yeah, sternum, he probably released the, the muscle, muscle to the too much. exactly, and then he stapled Genicoff. the the top. Genicoff? Genicoff. Uh, yeah. Then they stapled. Well, after the healing, all that healed, and they removed the staples. It happened again. Just just her sleeping or whatever. Her, the, her all her pain from her surgery was from in her back, from where they were like manipulating, like hmm. I guess pulling to try to get. The muscles to accommodate. Yeah. Um, Do you want a band aid? Yeah, a little band aid on there, and then. Can I have a SpongeBob band aid? Yeah. I don't think we have that. We have a football band aid. But uh, I want you to. No. Just you know, football. clean it twice a day with a little hydro peroxide and put some ointment, you know, spore and polysporin ointment back on there. Uh huh. Doing that. Done. And then we'll see you back in a week.